Now, water ministers from the Southern African Development Community, SADC, today held their annual meeting. This in a bid to address water challenges and find innovative ways to ensure the preservation of the precious resource. The Orange Sengu River Commission, or Oresacom, was established in 2000 to manage the transboundary water resources of the river basin from Lesotho and its neighboring countries. As scarce commodity, Sub-Saharan Africa has been feeling the effect of climate change, with Namibia being one of the hardest hit. South Africa and Botswana have also seen their taps run dry. In Botswana, we have serious problems of water. Therefore, we cannot do it alone. We need to have other people who can actually help us because Botswana is a semi-arid, it's, it's almost a desert. We don't have water. And this commodity has brought us together to deliberate not only on its importance but on our collective responsibility in terms of managing it collectively but also utilizing it collectively for life. A commission has been set up to find solutions. It's hoped 14 million people will get help. Our common source largely is what uh, we call the Orange River, the Orange River Senku Transboundary uh, Water Basin. It is quite important because water knows no boundary and therefore we need cooperation. It can be work that is being done by individual countries without coming together. Lesotho has not been affected by the drought, but since it's been supplying its neighbors with water, it's now feeling the strain. We are affected with the shortage of water just because of uh, the drought which is uh, taking place all over. But uh, luckily on our side, as I have uh, indicated that we are on top or where this, uh, we are at the source of the water. In South Africa, water restrictions had to be implemented in an effort to save water. Ntlandakatani, SABC News, Johannesburg.